being the father. I, I mean, as if he wanted to be. No. My baby will have parents who care about him from the very beginning. No drama, no games, just what's best for the baby. Your mother's situation has nothing to do with your future. Dad, I have made up my mind. So you can either respect my decision or back off. It must give you peace knowing that Gabby is on trial and maybe going to prison. I think she will definitely be a no-show at your wedding. Gabby has gotten away with so much. I really do hope that she ends up in a cell where she belongs. Now, talk about a perfect wedding present. You are awfully relaxed for a woman who's about to be married. <laughs> That's because Eli and I are having a small and intimate wedding. I am not going to let anyone ruin this day. Good idea. You know, uh, Jess and I are doing the same thing, actually, just to few. I really do hope that she ends up in a cell where she belongs. Now, talk about a perfect wedding present. You are awfully relaxed for a woman who's about to be married. <laughs> That's because Eli and I are having a small and intimate wedding. I am not going to let anyone ruin this day. Good idea. You know, uh, Jess and I are doing the same thing, actually. Just a few friends and family, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I noticed that ring. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank it's you. It's so beautiful. I know. It's so <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys set a date? Um, yeah, yeah, we have actually. Next week, um, July 10th. I mean, you know, so many weddings were popping up this month. We had to hurry and grab a date while we still could. <laughs> you know, it, it didn't matter to me. I mean, anything would have been fine as long as it wasn't July 25th. Why? I mean, what, what happened on July 25th? Well, it's when Steve and I were first married. We've been over this, Jack. Kayla is marrying Justin, so my only thoughts are for her happiness. That's a lot of crap. Don't you have a trial to cover? We're not married yet. There's still time to tell Kayla that you're just in love with her. How is she ever were? Didn't you listen to anything I said? Sure, sure I did. Know. I heard everything. Blah, 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 blah. I love Kayla so much I can't tell her how much I love her because I love her so much, which makes total sense to me, not ever in this world. I also told you to get off my back and let me be. I must have blocked that part out. But I do remember <clears throat> giving you some really good advice about getting the love of your life back into your life, starting with talk to her. Yeah, well, I did talk to her. Good. Kind of. After you left the pub the other night, I drank a little bit more, and I ran into her. Right, right, right. Yeah, she told me, she, she said, I, I quote, uh, he was far from coherent, and he's lucky I got him home in one piece. I'm lucky I passed out before I said something I'd regret. That's about the saddest thing I ever heard. Okay. I'm not going to say this again. I have screwed Kayla's life up enough. The least I can do is not screw it up now when she's really happy. It's not about her being happy. It's about her spending the rest of her life with you. I think that must have sounded better in your head. But, look, brother, I am telling you, I have been where you are. Thinking that, that that Jennifer was too good for me, that, that I wasn't good enough for her. Come on, don't, don't, don't. Please don't go there again. Don't get into that profit and loss and love and balance 